Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Amherst Public Library's Youth Services Book Chat. Boy, do we have a lot of fun things happening this summer. And as always, I have to remind you, it's summer reading time. So first of all, let me show you some books. We just received, it's called A True Book about the National Parks, and this concentrates on Gettysburg. It's by Moira Rose Donahue. And just in case you're going on a little trip, what fun facts you can learn about Gettysburg. There's some true and fat, false things happening in this book, and you are the ones that's going to figure it out. The answers are in the back. But also in the back are some very important words, just in case you're not sure what a bayonet is, or even how to say it. It'll help you pronounce it. This is a great reference book. So in our nonfiction area in the children's department, National Books, National Parks book on Gettysburg. Then, also a little bit of history, but more fun to make it just a paperback book in our fiction section. This is book one of The Little Olympians. This is about Zeus, God of Thunder. This is by A.I. Newton. What a great easy reader paperback. Lots of fun pictures in here too, as you read all about Zeus, God of Thunder. Speaking about paperback. We have a new series out. This is by Sophie Hen, and it's called Possess. What a great book. What do you think? Does she look like a superhero? She is. But come find out how hard it is to be a superhero. It's not easy being super. And the other book, Possess versus a new cat. Come and check out how Possess will teach you all about superheroes. They're great reads. Speaking of great reads, when we have our Have Book Will Travel theme for our summer reading, you might want to think about something far away. This is Far Away Things. Another story by Dave Eggers. We talked about him not too long ago. What a great book about special things that just might wash up on shore. Far Away Things. Lucian lived with his mother in a wind-swept shore. After storms, he roamed the beach searching for faraway things. That's what his father had called whatever washed up from across the sea. Far away things. One morning, after a swirling storm full of lightning and thunder, Lucian walked the beach, hunting for something new. He found a trio of jellyfish, looking like tiny moons. He found a heavy red rope tied tight in a knot. Then he saw something bright. Mm, what could that be? It was wrapped in seaweed that was dotted with hollow pods, but he freed it and held it high. It was silver and gold and copper and was finely etched all around. It was kind of like a sword he'd seen in books, but he couldn't think of its name. He swung it left and right and tried to remember that word. Not savor, those were longer. Not fail or foil, those were skinny, almost weightless. It wasn't a machete or broadsword or more. Then he remembered cutlass. He slashed at the sky and the word seemed to emerge from the veins he'd made in the clouds. Cutlass, he yelled. I think he looks like a pirate. What's that, son? His mother yelled from high above. Nothing, he said. He climbed the bluff and brought the cutlass inside and asked his mother if he could keep it. It's a far away thing, she asked. Yup, he said. It's not owned by a neighbor, she asked, or left by a visitor to the beach. It's a far away thing, he said. He'd never seen anything like it. Filled with treasures. I think you better get this book to see how it ends. The Far Away Things by Dave Eggers. So, when you go on little adventures, like on a boat, you can come and get points or prizes for doing your reading. So, remember, stop in the library. We've got our teen program. That means if you are going into sixth grade, or all the way up to going into ninth grade. 
you can be part of our young adult reading program. Get your points. Every page you read is a point and you'll get prizes. Then we have the children, ages four, going into fifth grade. How about that? Very colorful. For every 15 minutes you read, that makes an hour. Every four hours gives you a prize. Come on in to our summer reading. And those parents or guardians that are bringing you into the library, you have an adult program too. Come and see what happens for the adults at our summer reading program. This will hold the treasure for you. Come on and visit us. We can't wait to see you. Bye now.